Hey everybody, uh, we are here at the Saatchi Gallery and where we are going to be meeting Lena Besanova here just any second. Just about now. And we're having a VIP preview before the opening. Let's get to it! Come on. We are here at the Saatchi Gallery and we are here to interview and learn a little bit about Lena Vestanova's work. So Lena, let's get into some of your favorite pieces here at this gallery. I would love to know a little bit more about your work and what these images mean to you. All right, so we are standing right next to my favorite, favorite picture of all and maybe what actually tells about how much I like it is that I reprinted it these seven times different <laughs> yes because <laughs> if I don't if, if the image is okay I just I get it quicker yeah so this one is just about everything I love is the interplay of textures and lines and light I love the play of light everywhere so this one is uh, both delicate but at the same time there is something in the shadow it's uh, both mysterious and revealing it's everything I like in one image so the next ones are just I like them with the plus so I, I, I love this image because it, 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 it was a double take because I honestly thought it was three images taking. Are you serious? Yeah, like so I look at this and I see, okay, one frame was taken here and then another negative was used and another negative no. here. And then after I took a second look at it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is all the same picture. This is right? all one shot. And you know what? This thing is not, uh, it's not like, but like this is actually data. There is a video running over there that you will watch or I will give to you to insert yeah. in, the, uh, in the video. So you can see the original scene. Okay. If, when I watched the footage of the original scene, I said, goodness, it, it's impossible that I took this picture. Yeah. Yeah, it looks so different from the original. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I, this is a very cool picture. Um, I was totally blown away by this. Having me, I love those pictures that allow me to have a double look at them, yeah. and uh, I, I like the symmetry, and um, I think it's a very well balanced image. So, Thank you. Um, what does it mean to you? Like, what is this? Like, what's the story behind this particular image? Well, I just told you this one is yeah. just the moment, just the emotion. Moment, yeah. yeah, just uh, how I felt in the moment, and it perfectly resonated with me. Yeah. So it's a little bit melancholic, but at the same time there is a bit of light at the end of the tunnel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to wear. Yes. <laughs> no, that's, that's a joke. Almost. <laughs> Very cool. Well, uh, I think we're going to move on to the next image. Let's go. So, Alright, let's head over. <laughs> Mm, okay. Yes, so it's all about the subtle, subtle differences between 
in Jones, it's so totally abstract and so totally based just on the feeling right. than on the image. I originally printed it darker, so you could see that it's a tent and there is a tree yeah. over it. But then when I printed it lighter, I just fell in love. It's like, no one is gonna understand that print. Mm -hmm. Everyone will think it's weird, but I'm in love. Yeah. Uh, this one I'm hanging at my phone probably. I, no, it's really cool because it almost looks like a very faint, like watercolor, yeah, almost. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, the funny thing is, is I'm drawn into it because I'm going, what is in this? Exactly. And so, uh, especially when I started from over here, thinking one thing, and then I come into here and I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> now I'm starting to see something there. So no, I really do like this one. Yeah. Uh, it's very play, good play on. Uh, Almost like, I don't know, I want to say that's maybe like, well now we're going to get kind of technical here, maybe Zone 7 is probably like the, lo the lightest, or the darkest in this entire yeah, image. Yeah, there is, uh, there is no blood in here, yeah. and it was obviously uh, my choice, because yeah. technically this would have been black. Sure. Yeah, but then it would be just an image, it would be yeah. a tent. Who cares about a tent? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Very cool. Um, I'm just, no, uh, no, now taking a third look at it. <gasps> okay, tell me. Are these power lines? The what? These lines right here, this line right here, this one right here, and this one right here. Are those power lines or what is that? It's just a tent, how it's like, uh, how do you call it? Connected the parts of the tent, sewed together. Oh, okay, no, okay, I, I got I got what you're saying. Okay, I, I just like, I started looking at it differently, like as if I was looking up. Huh? And then I see well, they almost like power lines. See, sometimes when there is nothing, it makes you what we know nothing about, right? When there is nothing, it makes you question more. When there is everything that is shown and you see it and you're like, oh, I got this picture is about that. Cool, next one. Very cool. No, I like this one. Yeah. Let's get on to the next one. Yeah, let's go. All right. Yeah, so it's like completely 
unused, uh, I guess it's like an abandoned park or something? It's or not abandoned, it was just closed. It was the 2nd of January. No one has uh, gone in Geneva on the 2nd of January. <laughs> it was a really great day. Yeah, yeah. It was such a, like the sky was gray. This was gray, and I don't know how I even printed this image because the negative is so flat. But yeah, um, that's my home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Doing some remodeling? Yes. Well, it's not like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like that anymore. But I guess it's here because it's part of my personal history. Yeah. Yeah, and it certainly has connections to the other places if you look at the other images where there is like an abandoned church over there. It actually goes with this picture. Oh, yeah. Um, what else? Well, here is a sad little boat which is tied somewhere and it's just looking at the sea, but it can't go for uh, yeah for a trip because no one is taking it. So. Oh, I see. Okay, I see it. Yeah. I also have to say, I love the use uh, I feel like this image is very well balanced. Um, uh, the great use of the rule of thirds in this, I mean, just like come right like down here along the lines. Yeah, like and this one, this one, this one. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, true. Uh, so I, I, I love how everything, even like uh, the background, um, where you have the flip side over here, yeah. it's just like everything geometrically falls in place perfectly. You know what, when I saw the negative, I was unimpressed. I didn't even want to include this picture in the show. Really? Yes. And then I was like, ah, oh, let's try to do the test. Mm -hmm. And I did a test, I was like, wow, this is totally going into my show. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how you look at a negative and go, I don't know, and then once you yeah, print it. Yeah, it was like nothing special. This picture yeah. is nothing special. But when you start working it, oh, and also it was extremely high contrast. Like, yeah. this shadow is solid black, and the rest is Really? Right sun. Yes. Wow. That's amazing you were able it's to pull all the detail out of that. It's like wow. midday. Wow. In on an island. So yeah. harsh sun. Wow. Yeah. Alright, um, we're moving. This is the oldest negative. This is from one of my first rolls of film from 2011. Okay. And uh, the rest of the pictures from that film are horrible. I mean, they're just, <laughs> you know, basic stuff that you shoot when you just first get a camera, right? When Cats for me. Exactly. I was I was taking pictures of like flowers and buildings and yeah. all this kind of stuff. But that one, when I saw it, I was like, as if I took it today. Mm -hmm. That's quite incredible. You see, there is a reflection that there are um, skies in there. Yeah. Wow. That it's so subtle. Right. Uh, it, it almost like it's completely blown out. This is amazing that you were able to get that detail when you are printing this because that that's a tough. That's really tough. I mean, there had to be a several other versions of this where there's no detail in here and yes. you're trying to dial that back. Yeah, I had to burn in a lot like four stops. But yeah. impressive, impressive that in my first roll of film I shot and developed it so well mm -hmm. that I had the detail because I could have messed it up this image so easily. Mm -hmm. Like exposing it is very hard because yeah. this is very dark. You see mm -hmm. this inside. This is sun yeah. shining over there. This is even lighter. Yeah, there's a lot of dynamic range. I was impressed with myself, yeah. but that, that was obvious to us. <laughs> that was obvious to us. visors and uh, that, that actually wow the, even the detail as far as like the yeah, line and you can maybe even see me in there oh, no cool. no I'm serious like no problem right there that's so cool so I was early complaining that my Yashica isn't sharp enough mm -hmm. it's all there yeah the, uh, I'll, we'll, we'll get into the cameras here for just a split second the Yashica I think are some of the best TLRs, like you have Gushu with the Yashica D, yes. and uh, I have two Yashica, that is 635 and the 124, and both of our fantastic cameras are love shooting 
with them in a TLR square format. I know when we had our podcast, yeah. and that, I don't shoot that much square, but um, I find myself doing more and more square now these days. So um, you I... did something that you yeah. influenced me. How about that? Possibly. So inspired me. Inspired. That's a, that's a good word. Yeah. So I love school. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I enjoy seeing in the photographing more and those being square now. So, very cool. Well, there's one picture I want to know about this one because I know my wife and I, we love cats. Oh! And I saw this in the corner of my eye and I got to know about this one because I like the slide. I like the kitty sitting in the background and I mean, was the cat like studying you? Like, hey, what was this person doing? Or... <laughs> it ran away yeah. like three seconds after this picture was taken. I have another picture of this cat just like <laughs> jumping. <laughs> yeah, I was very lucky to have taken this picture. It's also from years ago. Okay, this photo had nothing to do with the rest. <laughs> but I, uh, I didn't put it in my previous show also because it didn't fit in there. Yeah. But this time I decided, okay, fine, I'm doing what I like, right? Yeah. So if it's my show, I should do what I like sure. and what I'm going And sometimes you have to be silly. And a little black cat staring at you, you know, I can, I think I can afford to have one image out of yeah. 20, right? To have a black kitty. Of course. And it's, I, I, I'm calling this kitty a little evil. Little evil. Yeah. <laughs> you see, like, it's, it's not really looking at me because I had my friend with me and uh, the kitty was looking at my friend. Yeah, 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 goodness, I love this image so much. Yeah. You know, you can also put meanings into it, but sure. I know that in that moment I was photographing a cat. If other pictures, I know that I have some, you know, yeah. higher motives. Yeah. For them, this one, though. This one was, uh, you can add meanings into it, sure. but it none in yeah. No. <laughs> now, now that I'm looking like, yeah, okay, this is a children's playground sure. again, you know. I'll take around, but then there is something evil happening over right there, right? Or like that's Something is afoot. <laughs> right? So you can add a meaning. Sure. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for here. So let's move over there. <laughs> so, um, so I have something very small for you, a little small little gift. Um, you don't know what it is yet, but I was listening to your interview on the Sunny Sixteen podcast, uh -huh. and you had mentioned that you need to start a rubber ducky collection <gasps> for your dark room. Yes. So I have something very small for you. Oh no! Oh my God! This is so cool! This is so absolutely <laughs> cool! So, unfortunately, I cannot find any photography related ones, they don't but this exist. is a Metallica one. This is a totally so, Metallica yes. duck. Yes. So, uh, I hope that Thank he so gets much. accepted by the other duckies, and uh, I, I hope, hope to see him floating yeah. around in your videos. I hope he plays the guitar well so the other duckies accept it. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated, and I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> Awesome. Well, Lena, thank you again very much. Thank you so much. And uh, I can't wait to hear and see what, what everybody else has to say and what those images mean to them. Yes. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this vlog. I'm getting ready to head back to Atlanta. Uh, I might try to close it. I don't know. I am running on fumes, but uh, this was just absolutely awesome. And uh, so that's it for this episode. And I guess we'll go ahead and close it with... Shoot some film. Dang it. Yes.